and welcome back. Um, so this week you just have me, unfortunately. Randy got called out of town unexpectedly. So, um, unfortunately, the video that we were going to do this week on the uh, brakes and on the little thing that you can use to check your inside tire pressure, it's going to have to wait till next week because I don't know anything about tires. Um, but today, I did want to talk to you guys about curtains. We've had this bus now, um, this is our second summer with the bus, and I apologize, I'm all, I'm all hot. <laughs> We're here in South Carolina and it is hot. It is 90, 94 degrees today, which is why today we're talking about curtains. So um, if you've been following along, you guys know we don't have any. And we've kind of come full circle with that. The first summer when we were building out the bus and it was so hot, um, we realized that with all of these windows, it's kind of like a greenhouse. I mean, I've got the um, AC on right now, cranked up high. When we're driving and the windows are open and the AC stays on, we can kind of keep it cool. But when we're sitting still and the AC is not really, you know, moving that well, um, it gets really hot really fast from all of these windows doing the greenhouse effect. So the first summer when we were in here working, we got the traditional rods that went all the way across and we got big blackout curtains that hung down and it really changed the temperature. I mean, it was amazing how much cooler the AC could actually, uh, cause we got one of those big house um, stand up air conditioners to go in here and um, we were exhausting it out one of the windows and it was supposed to do twice as much space as this bus and it still wasn't able to keep up because of the, the windows. So um, with the blackout curtains, it was great, fixed the problem, um, but Randy hated it, <laughs> hated it. He loves the windows. He's always loved the windows, which is why we ended up taking those down. And of course we did most of our camping over the, um, over the fall and the winter, so heat wasn't really an issue. So what we did, because a lot of people have asked this, is if you can see up here, um, we have these little clips that go all the way down and we have like those little $4 fleece blankets you can buy from Walmart and we just clip those up at night and it covers our windows and it gives us privacy. Well, that's all great and good until it's 10 o'clock at night and your neighbors are looking at you through the window and you're trying to get everything put up and you're tired and it's just, it's not fun. So I told Randy we definitely need curtains and I'll take you outside in a minute. Our bus actually, um, because it was a transport shuttle bus from airport to a hotel, the whole thing was wrapped in vinyl, including the windows. So when you're outside the bus looking in during the day, the windows just look white from the outside. We can see out, but no one can see in, which is awesome. But of course, as soon as the lights come on at night and it's dark outside, all bets are off and you can see. Okay, here's a real quick view of the outside. And you can see right here, this vinyl that's on the windows. It's actually little tiny holes all throughout. So from the outside, it's just white. And um, so it does a really good job. You cannot see inside that bus right now because it's daytime. But um, nighttime, completely different story. So um, we finally agreed that we need curtains because sometimes you just want to, you know, pull curtains if we're parked somewhere and the sun's, you know, coming in in a specific spot, it's nice to just be able to pull those curtains across. So I finally won the battle and <laughs> we're getting curtains, which I think we mentioned on our last video that that was the plan. We're going to use the, um, the little wire to go across so we don't have the big traditional rods because that was another problem. With the rods, when you're spanning this much space, you have to have the um, little connectors in the middle, you know, to keep the rod from, from going down. So it kind of, it, it, you know, you had to have curtains on this side or on that side, but never in between and it left like a space because our windows are so close together. Anyway, there was a lot of problems. So um, with, the, with the wire, I think what we're gonna be able to do to keep it from bowing down is get like the little teacup, little half circle um, clasps to put them in. So you can take the wire up, move the curtains down and put the wire back and it won't, it won't bow in the middle. Uh, but that way when we're driving and Randy really wants all of the windows, um, we can push them all to the back corners or to the very, very, very front and it won't block. Because one good thing about the way we did this, we built all of our furniture below the windows with the exception of this bar, which is barely you know, above the window. So the bus drives exactly like it did before. We have 
perfect vision all the way around. There are no blind spots except for the back. And we do have a backup camera that's in the front that acts as the rear view mirror. So really we have complete view all the way around when we're in traffic, which is nice. Um, so then the second problem became how to find the right size uh, curtains. Um, I thought about having them custom done, but that's really expensive. Um, and if you just go and buy curtains, they're either going to be all the way to the floor or they're going to be shorter window curtains, which actually are too short for these big windows. So what I ended up doing was going and buying the floor to ceiling blackout curtains and I'm going to cut them in half and hem them uh, in the middle and then that should do everything just fine. So um, I think what we're going to do is move back in the house where we have better AC and we'll continue this project. Okay, so now we're back inside in the air conditioning. Um, these are the curtains that we picked out to go in the bus. They are the Eclipse brand. They are uh, the blackout panels. These are really, really great um, for keeping all of the heat out of the bus. I definitely, if you're, if you're going to be living in the south or coming to the south a lot where it's going to be really hot, blackout curtains is what you need um, because this drops the temperature in the bus significantly, even with the AC, like I said earlier. Um, so these are these are 84 inches long, uh, 42 inches wide. So we only had to buy four panels, and since we're cutting them in half, four panels would do one side, but cutting them in half, it'll do both sides. So it actually wasn't that expensive. I think we got these for um, these were on uh, markdowns. I think it was like $10 a piece, so like $40 for all of the curtains. Um, and then this is what they look like out of the out of the pack and the one thing i love about these eclipse and, and make sure well for us because we're, we're putting on the wire we make sure to get the ones with the pocket not the ones with the big pretty grommets um, but the cool thing about these is on the top it has one big pocket that you would be sliding through the curtain rod on the other side on the bottom it has the exact same pocket so they're the same size, they're the same, you know, everything. So you can't tell them apart, which is awesome because now the bottom becomes the top and this is the top and they'll hang exactly the same. So all we have to do is um, go down and measure, which I'm not going to do, I'm not gonna watch, make you guys watch me do this, but you just find the middle and cut across and then just hem just enough because the length, you know, I want as much length as possible. Um, so we will just hem and, and fold over just enough. I'm going to use my Singer sewing machine. So I just need to make just enough of a lip to be able to, to feed it through the machine. Um, but if you don't sew, that's okay too because Walmart does sell hemming tape. So you could just um, figure out you know, where, you want your, where you want your lines to go, cut it in half, fold it over. Um, whenever I use that, I find it easier to kind of pin the, the, the fold over him and hit it with my iron to make a good crease. Then you can get this um, two-sided sticky adhesive. Well, it's, it doesn't feel adhesive, you know, when you get it, but it's, uh, you put the tape on and then you put it back underneath your iron and iron it and the heat causes the two pieces to fuse together. And so you have a really good seam that way. So you do not need to be able to sew to do this. You just need to have an iron. and about it. So I'm going to cut all four of these in half, uh, sim, the, sim the edges so they don't fray, and then I will have basically custom made curtains for the bus. Um, and well, I'll have four dollars in it because I already had so much cheap, but you know, I think the, the hemming tape isn't that much. You could do this whole project for less than 50 depending on, you know, the kind of curtains that you choose. Um, but again, I highly suggest the blackout curtains because it's, it makes the bus significantly cooler, even with the AC on. Like I said, with that many windows, our air conditioner unit could not keep the bus cool. But with these, no problem. It feels really nice. Um, so I think we're going to leave you guys here because y'all don't want to watch me sew. <laughs> That's kind of boring. Um, but next week, I'll have these finished, and hopefully we'll have these hung, and we can show you what that looks like. Um, 
and Randy's coming home today, so we'll be able to get to work on the brakes on the bus. So the next video we put out will hopefully be an update on my curtains, but it will definitely be um, uh, the brake work that we find because when we took the bus out, it did start making that noise once it got hot. Um, so we think that it was the brakes that, you know, because they were they sat up for a while after we came back from vacation, and he thinks that maybe some rust settled on the brake pads, which gave it, we would quiet it down at first until it actually got on the road and got going good, and then the sound came back. So we're going to figure out what that sound is, hopefully something simple, and we're going to, um, while he's got the hubs off doing that, he's going to show you how to install that little piece for your tire so you can check and fill your back tires uh, while you're on the road if you've got the, the two back tires together like we do um, but anyway thank you guys for stopping by I appreciate you watching um, I hope that you will subscribe if you aren't already and hit that bell notification so you get notified when we do these videos um, I'm hearing a lot of people are not uh, getting notified because we took such a long break uh, so do hit that bell if you want to keep seeing these videos from us and um, have a great week and we'll see you again next weekend Bye.